obviously. Gold Vikings, let's win this game. Gold Vikings, honor your name. Hey guys, what's up? Jito Z back here with another Vikings video, and this time we got a sad one, as you saw in the intro. Potentially very, very bad news for the Vikings. Uh, Tariq Floyd could have his career ended due to nerve damage. Now, why does this have to happen to the Vikings? We're just getting positive news on Teddy Bridgewater, who we thought it's possible that his career could be done. It could still be done, despite him throwing in videos. Uh, he posted on Instagram, he could see on Twitter, and he can spread all of the news. And, and now we have Shree Floyd to worry about. A couple years ago, we had Tishu Deze, who got leukemia and had his career early. I know this type of stuff has to ha happen to other people as well. But, why, why? <laughs> okay, no, enough of that, okay? Let's get to and say, we hope Shree Floyd, just the player himself, gets that. Uh, recovery does the best for uh, his future. If he has to call it quits, just do it. Uh, it's not worth playing and getting something really serious to happen to you. Uh, if you have to get out of the game before you're too seriously injured, just do it. But if you if you get the okays and you were want to give it a shot, I would really want you on the squad. Because if you guys don't know, Shree Floyd was really, really good when he's healthy. He's always had knee injuries and other things to keep him off the field. He's been one of the best three techniques in the game. When he's healthy, he hasn't had a very long career. Uh, but you know, when he's going at it, he's really, really good. A perfect pair up with Limbaugh and Joseph. It's so nice to watch those two go at, go at it. So if we lose him, who do we have to replace him? Uh, we have Tom Johnson, who filled in the role last year. And we don't know how long he'll be on the team. We have Shamar Stephan. And then we have Dayton Jones, who's a really big question mark, who we got from the Packers, of course. He played, he was an edge rusher for them in the 3-4 defense. He, he was an outside linebacker, or he could play defensive in a 4-3 system, but he is, uh, and he is in the realm of possibility to be a defensive tackle, because he is about 280 pounds, as you saw in my last video. So let's talk about Tom Johnson for a moment. I just pulled up his contract details. He still has... Uh, he is signed through 2017, so he will be a free agent uh, next year. Uh, so, it's a really big thing. He's 32 years old, so he'll be 33. That's nearing the end of the lifespan for most defensive tackles. And Tom Johnson in general, it's, uh, he's a solid starter, but he's more of a fill-in type guy. He's a perfect rotational guy. When we had him, when we had Tree Floyd in the ball, Tom Johnson was the perfect guy to come off the bench give one or two a break every now and again. He's a good enough starter, but if you guys saw, the big problem with our defense is our run defense. That starts up front with guys like Lindell Joseph and Tom Johnson, or we hope Sharif Floyd comes back. Uh, but now we have to start looking for replacements. We have to go look in the draft. I really want to doubt if we draft on the defensive tackle, but we have other needs. Uh, I will talk about I'll do like a top 10 needs in the draft video, maybe in a couple weeks or so, it'll be about a month for the draft, so we have some time for that, but I, it's so hard to see a player just keep going down, we, we had so many injuries last year, and the season hasn't even started with getting bad news again, but I want to make this clear, this is the off season, so teams might be, are trying to make news out of everything, and uh, news is slow around the NFL.com, just like it is around my channel. So we're gonna try to get new uh, stories out of everything. Uh, like it, I'll quote what it says. I'll put this on the screen right now. Uh, the Minnesota Vikings defensive tackle is that you recover from nerve damage that occurred during September surgery to repair the meniscus in, in his knee. NFL Network insider Ian Rappaport, I pronounced it right this time, I think, uh, reported via a source close to Floyd the nerve that controls the quadriceps in. Six later. Although there's optimism, which is a good thing, there's optimism that the nerve will eventually cooperate. Right before added, no one knows for sure. So that last little sentence is really big for me. Because that, what that tells me is that this could just be a clickbait article that NFL popped out. I thought it was worth covering. It's a big red flag. So I want to end this video by saying. 
don't worry too much because like they says nobody knows for sure so we're as much in the dark as we were in, the, in training camp last year when Tree Floyd was started not playing at the beginning of last, to begin last year uh, so we're about in the exact same situation now they're saying well he could be done well yeah he, he could have been done last year and we didn't know about it so it's not the biggest breaking news ever. It's just saying that there's ner there could be nerve injury that could make his career end. It make his career end. It's not and more likely than it was last year though. So take this as you may, but it could be a very devastating injury for the Vikings. So I want to like this video and share your support for Shree Floyd in the comment section. Tweet him. Um, you can find his, his Twitter ha his Twitter handle. Uh, on, on Twitter and, and wish him good, his a good safe recovery and we'll see you guys in the next Ditto Z Vikings video. See ya.